Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. This week we're gonna be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing and this box is from Nashville, Tennessee. This is actually one of my backup boxes that I've had for probably about two months. My box from New Jersey is late this week so we're gonna be opening up this lovely box and I'm excited to be opening this up. Tennessee is always a hit or miss for me so we're gonna open it up and hope for the best. First look, we have lots of like gold and silver tones going on. I'm liking, ooh, look at that shiny ring in here. All right, we're going to set this aside and dig in. If you are interested in a piece, be sure to check the description below where you can find my email. You can also find links to my Poshmark and my Etsy shops. I'm super excited to be back. I had such a fun time in Polly's Island, South Carolina, one of my most favorite places to go every year. And thank you all so much for your well wishes. And let's take a look at this stunning, shiny piece here. It's definitely got some plating going on. We've got some bubbling, but it's in good shape. A little bit of discoloration, but what a pretty design. Let's test the stone. We're not getting any reading, so I will be doing this one for $1. If you are interested in, I do offer lot box pieces and lot boxes. So if you're interested in any of those pieces, be sure to email me. I do sell my lot boxes in my Poshmark and Etsy shops as well. Stunning cloisonne design, lovely butterfly. I love butterfly designs. And anything animal and insect related is always fun. I love the color on this one. This is definitely giving me like a vintage look. And I'll do this one for $10. So pretty. It looks intact really well. No chipping. A lot of the cloisonne that I get from Goodwill, a lot of it has some chipping or some missing pieces. And this one seems to work really well too. Metal looks great. All right, next we're gonna have a costume bracelet, wrap around bracelet. I'm gonna put this one in a lot. I like the orange and black glass beads. Okay, no 925 mark or anything like that. Let's check it with a magnet. I feel like I feel a little bit of a magnet, magnetic pull. the two clasps together there. I'll do this one for $2. All right, I am a sucker for pearls. Don't see any markings on the clasp. Let's rub these together and see if they've got any grit to them. Okay, these are gonna be costume pearls, but I love that it cascades and got these really nice sized pearls down here at the bottom. I'll do this one for $3. That's a really nice set of costume pearls. Right now, Tennessee can, pre Tennessee can be pretty notorious for the single earrings. So we're gonna start our single earring pile. This one says Faith, looks to be a little bit worn. Another earring. I like the color on this one. All right, this is gonna be plastic beads. Do this one for one dollar. Right, turquoise colored costume earring. I usually get a handful of earrings, lots of single earrings. I do sometimes turn those into necklaces or different designs. I'd love to get into jewelry making. So if you guys have any tips of where to look, I know a lot of YouTubers have some great tips, and I've looked around on there too. So if you guys have any. Anybody you guys like to watch, let me know. Always encourage you guys to leave a comment. I love sharing any information on this channel. And I hope that you guys can share some information as well. All right, this I don't know if this is actually supposed to be knotted together. Some of it looks like, I think it's just a layered look, but the chain and the chain is very long. I'll do this one for $1. It's very shiny. 
I'll have to check and see if all the stones are in there too, but very shiny. Next is this lovely iridescent stoned E necklace, giving me like clear vibes. I might keep that one. That's fun. I like the colors on it. Okay, this says Marshall. Like Marshalls. Oh, okay. So maybe that's not actually on there. I'm going to put this one in a lot. I love the colors on this one. All those earthy tones. I'll do this one for $1. Another earring. I don't see any markings on it. Some kind of ring that's broken. Put that one in a lot. Maybe another earring. This is like a, an adjustable ring. I get a lot of costume pieces from Tennessee. Do this wishbone. For one dollar and another earring all right now i tend to get some tangles from tennessee which is just fine as long as they give me some good pieces, right? Earring with a mystery hair. That's a very large costume earring. It's like a slice of cheese, I think, earring. It's very heavy. Let's hope for the matches, some matches throughout this box. I hope you guys enjoyed the last bit of your summer. We did start school in our area. My oldest started first grade, so sad. And he does not want me to walk him into the school anymore. So that was a blow to this mother's heart. But it also makes me feel good that he feels so confident. So well wishes to all of you guys. If you guys have little ones or grandbabies starting school. I'll do this one for $2. I love the inlay in there with all the jewels. It's kind of giving me a stainless steel look. Very nice. Nineteen twenty-eight. It's beautiful pendant. I'll do that one for two dollars. See if we can get through some of this tangle without too much trouble. Earring to add to the pile. Let's get these other earrings out of the way. This one's stuck in there. Love the design on that one. It's kind of giving me a 925 look with the shiny kind of matte looking beads. Let's check it with the magnet. All right, I'm not feeling any pull on there. All right, I think I might see a marking. I lost my loop there for a second. <laughs> my kids have been in and out since I've unpacked from our beach trip. So getting back into the swing of things. Okay, that is a 925 mark. So that's a pretty thick chain too. Got some weight to it. I do like all the colors on the beads. Got that lovely rainbow look. Very nice. And those pieces resell really nicely. I love those intricate designs and the chain link looks are still very much good selling pieces. This is probably like a choker with the mesh or chain mail. I'll do that one for $3.
And now that my oldest is back in school, I'll kind of be able to focus a little bit more back onto my channel. I do appreciate all of your guys' support and your patience with me with getting orders out. Uh, I will be getting back to getting those orders out a little bit quicker now that I'm back onto my school routine. Can you give me a glass reading? I like the pearls. No grit to them. That's a really pretty little wrap. I'll do this one for $3. And you guys, don't forget, we will be doing that collaboration for our Ana Luisa giveaway. And I'm going to start that one next week. Because I just received my pieces from them, my new collaboration pieces. And they are so stunning. I cannot wait to show you guys. You guys will love them. Not too bad for that tangle. This is going to be so hard not to give to my daughter because she is into all the bling lately. I'll do this one for two dollars. If my daughter, if my daughter does not take it from me first. All right, flower choker. I'll do that one for one dollar. It's kind of falling apart a little bit. Classic early 2000 statement necklace. I'll do that one for $1. I like this pull through bracelet. It's got the little metal piece you can push in. It's got a tag on it. Like LM. Or OM. Either way, it's pretty. I like the design. I like all the jewels and the chains on there. And it's adjustable. So I'll do this one for $1. All right, we've got some leather mixed in here. little fish. Let's hope for a match. All right, leather with the bead work here. I'll do this one for two dollars. Some nice beads on that one. Another earring. I encourage you guys also to add me on Facebook. You guys will get sneak peeks into giveaways. I'll also be posting shorts videos on there. And you'll just get to see some of my family fun as well. All of my family adventures. And I'm so happy you guys have been enjoying my shorts videos again. I took a little hiatus this summer spending time with my kiddos. So I'm so glad you guys are enjoying those. I can't wait to show you my next one. A little thrift that I got to do down at the beach. Ruby Road. That's a good resellable brand. Loving all the beadwork on here. I'll do this one for $5. All right. Coldwater Creek. Another great resellable brand. Loving the, the color on here. I'll do this one for $8. Very nice. Intricate little beads there. It's a cool earring. Looks to be glass. Let's check it. Went up on glass just a tiny bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Lovely. Like the design on that one. Let's see if we can get the owl out. Not too bad. We're having some good luck here. All right. So this is like a magnifying glass. Very cool. That would be great to carry around if you're doing jewelry. I like got estate sales instead of carrying a loop. Very cool. 
and it's got a really good magnifying glass in there. Needs to be cleaned up, but otherwise really nice. Like the little pearl detail and the little jewels in there. I'll do this one for $8. I don't think the chain is not silver. This doesn't have any pull on it, but it looks plated to me. Lovely piece. Do we have the matching earring? Well, one matching earring to the Coldwater Creek necklace. Matches those beads perfectly. So let's really hope for a match for that one. All right, this is fun. Bangle. I'm going to put that one aside for my daughter. Okay, this says 925. It's got the two, is it roses maybe? It's got a heart on it. This is nice, nice weight to it. Let's check it with a magnet. Definitely need to test with acid on these pieces. If you're going to be reselling it. It doesn't have any pull to it. And I see some of like the tarnishing like silver does as well. So very nice. It's going to be a drop down with that little pendant all the way down there at the bottom. You will find your best deals on this YouTube channel, so be sure to email me. Again, you can find that email down in the description below. Let's go for some of the easier pieces here. All right, this is a worn leather bracelet, giving me that snakeskin look, but it does have some wear in it. I'll do that one for $1. Look at that statement bangle. I think that's giraffe print. And some of these bangles, of course, can be that vintage plastic. So you got to look for a seam. I don't know if I see a seam on here, though. Very nice. Big bangle. I'll do this one for $5. Their earring. All right, I like the matte feel on this necklace. I'll do that one for two dollars. Another, I think, costume pearl necklace. You can really tell by the chains. Sometimes, too, on those costume pieces. If they're going to be costume or the real deal. I'll do this one for $2. Always encourage you guys to also check out Dr. Lori. She's always phenomenal with all of the jewelry information, especially identifying pieces of jewelry. You can also check out her website and she does do video calls and you can talk to her about your pieces as well. Pearl choker here. I'll do this one for $1. We got a wrapped pearl earring. Let's see. I think this is another cold water creek. And some of these cold water creek necklaces can go for a pretty good amount for on resale. And I like to shop. And I do sell on Etsy and Poshmark at the moment. I am going to be getting on Whatnot for some live shows. All right, this has got like some turquoise mix. This is very long, so it's going to be hard for me to get it into the shot. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. But some of that chunky, probably howlite, I think, turquoise. 
glass beads, charms. This is going to be a little bit pricier. I would probably resell this one in my shops for maybe $30 to $40. I'll do it on here for $12. I do have to raise those prices on my shops because, you know, Poshmark and Etsy do take a cut out of my pieces. So again, you will find your best pieces here on my YouTube. Okay, so these are cloth. I was thinking maybe they were like shells or something. Or the... Yeah, that's cool. I'll do that for $2. Definitely a vintage looking necklace to me. I look at the design and the way the piece is made. And always you doing research on these pieces before you list them. Highly recommend Google Lens for these pieces. All right, this looks like a broken costume pearl necklace. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. Some really pretty metal work here. That might be worth turning into a pendant. All right, then yin and yang. It's double-sided. I'll do that one for $1. Tangles haven't been too bad today. We did find a match, so that's another good thing. Tennessee is not disappointing this week. I'll do those for $2. There's another earring in there, but... And another one. <laughs> I'll do those for $2. All right, we got the chain with some of the little dangles there. I'll do that one for $1. Kind of copper twisted bangle. I'll do that one for velvety kind of choker look again it's gonna go to a lot and sometimes I do keep those pieces to add to a pendant so if you're new to reselling keep some of those different chains those are fun to add some different character to a pendant I'm gonna put this one in a lot those wire necklaces love to get tangled into everything okay I'm gonna give this one to my daughter it's so cute giving me that Barbie core vibe Another kind of Barbie core pink. I will do this one for $1. All right. Yin and yang chain link bracelet here. It looks to be plated. Got some bubbling. I'll check it with a magnet. It is magnetic. I'll do that one for $1. All a pretty good box from Tennessee so far. Hoop earring. I'm going to put that one in the earring pile. Same with that one. Right, these feel like maybe some glass pearls. Tell by the noise on them. Yeah, no grit. Definitely thinking we got some glass here. We'll test it on the Presidium. See if we get any kind of reading. Kind of it looks like it's raising up just a tiny bit. It's kind of wobbling around a little bit. This is going to be pretty long. I think it's knotted together too. Yeah, we got some knots going on. This is going to be pretty long, probably at least 24 to 30 inches. Very, very long. Can't get it all in the shot. I'll do these for $8. It's like a beautiful bluish gray hue to it. Lovely piece. Okay. Another plated one. You can see that silver tone coming off of there. I did that one for $1. I like the enamel black look in there. 
I like this ruby toned choker with those beads. Do that one for $1. All right, let's look at this turquoise look. Okay, chaps. So I'm thinking we'll be dealing with some dyed howlite. It does look good in the center there. You can look in the drill holes and sometimes they'll be white inside of there, but this one actually looks pretty good. It's not white, but it does have these white areas in it. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be some howlite. So you can barely see it in there, but some of that white color in there. Another good resellable brand with chaps. I'll do this one for $8. It's in pretty good condition. Very lightweight as well. Giraffe print. I don't get a ton of giraffe prints. So this is fun. Get something a little bit different. Do that one for $1. Nice, like pewter colored necklace with some earthy toned beads. I don't think, I think these are plastic. Yeah, I'll do this one for $2. Let's get this big chunky necklace out of the way. I've gotten a lucky a couple times I've gotten silver chains like this before. I don't think this is silver. It's giving me a silver look, but all right. The clasp and the chain seem to be magnetic, but the necklace, which is giving me the silver look is not magnetic. So maybe this was replaced. I'll have to test it with some acid. That's very nice piece. Love the green beads on here. Green is definitely one of my favorite colors. Love all the earthy tones, but green is definitely up there. Okay, I don't see any markings on there. Giving me silver looks. It's not magnetic either. Another one to test with some acid. Silver is a little bit trickier to test with acid, but for me, it's got a really nice reading on it. In the tourmaline, almost in the jade. So this is really nice, nice necklace. Beautiful green stones there. So I'll do a little bit more research on this one. See what I can find out. I might just be missing a stamp on the necklace too. I do like to go through my pieces again and double check everything. So you guys let me know what do you think that stone is. Dangle earring. You guys know where this one's going. This is Claire's, giving me a Claire's look. Icing, very close. I'm gonna give this one to my daughter as well. So pretty. All right, so we have a matching pair and it's connected. So what a treat that is. They're costume pieces, but in good condition. All the stones and rhinestones seem to be there, so I'll do that one for $2. All right, let me just unhook that, and that'll do us some wonders. We got some two different chains here. I'm gonna have to give this one to my daughter. It's so cute. 
I love this. Little plastic flowers. This is so precious. Definitely going to go to her. My boys uh, demand that they have items too, so I'm going to have to let them just sift through this thing. All right, so this is... It kind of looks like a choker. It's pretty going to be pretty tight. I don't see any markings on the clasp. It looks good, though. It's a nice clasp. Pretty gold tone. I'm thinking it's plated. And it's magnetic. I'll do this one for $2. Very dainty. It's going to be a hard one for me not to keep. Lovely geode with the gold gilding on the side there. Another very earthy vibes going on. I'll do that one for $2. All right, let's see this pretty cross. Do you have a marking? H O U. Hmm. I don't think I've heard of H O U before. No markings on that class. Let's check this one. Got to check all the class. H O U again. Hmm. Okay, looks like there's maybe a stone right in the middle there. The rest, I think, are just metal. Let's check that stone. It's very beautiful. I thinking at least sterling. Oh, oh, we have diamonds today, it looks like. Nice. Cool. It's been a while since I've gotten a diamond, so that's great. It's really good. I mean, good metal work. You can tell it's it's well made. Pretty little diamond in the center there. Very cool. I'll set that one aside. I don't think I've ever gotten a diamond from Tennessee. So thank you, Tennessee. I appreciate that. 178B Genuine Leather. Wow. That feels really nice. That is a showstopper there. Look at that. That is a nice piece. Costume beads there. Made in China. So I'll have to do a little bit of research on this and see if I can pull it up on Google Lens. But that's that's a nice piece of leather. It does look like it's maybe coming apart just a little bit. Maybe I can glue that down. You guys let me know. What do you think? Can I mend that little opening there? Very nice. Some more broken pieces I'm going to add to the lot. This is super heavy. Charm bracelet. It is magnetic, but I love the charms on there. Look at all those details. All right, we've got the little black one down here. Very nice, very heavy. I'll do this one for $8. Really vibrant gold there. All right, so we got a feather with some some dangly. This might go to my son, though, because he's obsessed with, like, taking things apart lately and, and feathers. Oh, so it's two feathers. Very cool. All right, pretty thick pendant there. Premier Design tag. This is nice, Premier Design. I've gotten really nice pieces from Premier Design lately, and they've been selling for pretty good. I think that's one of my top selling brands this last month was Premier. Really nice pieces. I'll do this one for $8. All right, we're down to the, the bits at the bottom here. So I'm just going to dump the rest of this out. Lots of little pieces down here. So we're just going to go through them all. All right, let's first start with this very cool matte art deco looking heart. I don't see any markings on it. I'll do a Google lens on that one as well. Give you guys some information. I like to try and provide you guys with some information as I go. Again, I just really like to spread the knowledge. You guys have helped me so much in my journey of becoming a jewelry reseller and I like to do the same if I can. No reading on that but I really like that. 
super thick. Look at that ring. Oh my goodness. My daughter is making out so good today. Look at that ring. That is too fun. More earthy looks. I think we found a couple matching earrings this week. I think I got a mark on here. Let's see. I do have a mark, but I have no idea what is that. Sometimes I have to have my husband look at these because sometimes I just cannot see the vision. Almost looks like a KX, but they're joined together. Hmm. Yeah, I can't quite tell what that what that is. It's not magnetic. I don't see any other markings though. Another one to test with the silver acid. I like that clip on earring. That is super pretty. Giving me like peacock vibes. Plated earring. All right, another pendant. It's interesting. It's pretty cool to the touch too. Moved up just a hair on glass. Yeah, just a little bit of movement on glass. Very interesting. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. I like the inlay in there as well. I'll do that one for $2. Little pendant. Drop costume earring. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is heavy. All right, I've seen this brand so many times and I cannot. Kresge or something like that. There's that design on there. And I'm pretty sure this brand sells for a pretty good amount. I think this would probably resell maybe in the $50 range, $50, $60. This is really cool. Look at the, look at the tea glass. Reminds me of like a tea, like a pour. The clock, tassels, I'm loving all this. I will do this one for 25. And that's going to be a steal because this is going to be definitely a nice resellable piece in my shops. Very cool. You guys know who this is going to. I do like to set aside for my nieces as well. All right, we got another one of those with that marking that I cannot read. Maybe TK? Maybe that's what it is? Or JK? It's kind of what it looks like if I turn it to the side. Very interesting. Love a good beaded earring. Another matte necklace. I'll do this one for $1. I love the earthy metals. Fun star, another fun one for my son. He loves earrings lately too. Which I just love that they love what I love. <laughs> it's so fun that they get excited for things. Oh, here's a cool one. Check that one out, little dinosaur. My son wants to be a paleontologist when he grows up, so that is very cool. He'll he'll take that one for sure. I'll set that one aside for him. I like this ring. It is not going to fit me. Maybe my pinky. It's going to be pretty small enamel look. Ooh, look at that. That is such a fun cameo earring. That's the one thing too with Tennessee is like their single earrings are really cool and different. And I actually like them a lot usually. And it makes me really sad when I don't have matches. All right, magnetic ring there. Another twisted look. Lots of little bits here. Let's see, what is this? B28. $3. I don't have the match for it though. What does that say? Ben, Ben Am. I 
Yeah, Ben Ammon or something like that. Very shiny and large. It's a cool ring. Definitely has some discoloration, so I'm going to put that one in a lot. More costume earrings. Maybe some sterling here. Give me a little bit of a sterling look. But I don't see any markings on it. Let's check it with a magnet. Not magnetic. So another one to check out and lovely to have a match again. All right, LA, Believe, another match. And those are really nice. I might actually keep this set for myself. I like those. I've been kind of collecting more gold pieces lately, especially to go with all my Ana Luisa pieces. Jeweled choker. I'll do that one for $1. Look at that pretty pendant. Lasting Memories 1983. So that's definitely a vintage piece. Unfortunately, we're getting into the vintage pieces these days. Earring. All right, we're missing a piece to this butterfly earring. Thank goodness I sell jewelry because my daughter has gone through some earrings this summer. We swim a lot and yeah, we, we lose earrings these days. Another really fun earring for my son. He'll love that. Very shiny iridescent earring there. Thank you guys always for joining my lives on these videos as well. I really enjoy my Saturday morning chats with you guys. We're going to be starting soccer on Saturdays. But I will continue to do my little live chats with you all. My kids and their cousin are all going to be in soccer together. And I am so blessed that they all get to do it together. There is truly nothing like having family around. I love the Mother of Pearl. Another heart. Another one of those earrings kind of give me that same plated look. Large pendant necklace. Large chain link necklace. I'll do this one for $1. So many of these little tiny pieces, but I encourage you guys to go through them because you can find a diamond earring or, you know, you never know. I found $2,000 worth of diamonds at the very bottom of a box one time, and I would have never thought anything about it. So be sure to check all your little pieces. And some of these are resellable. I love that one. The blue hues. Another very shiny piece. Let's test it. Bring it in on glass. We are getting all the way down to the bottom now. Not seeing too much that I can remake into pendants, but I do put these in lot boxes and people love to turn these into some pretty awesome artwork. And if you guys buy a lot box from me and you turn something into a piece of art, please be sure to tag me on my Facebook page. All right, so we didn't do too bad. We got some diamonds. We've got some sterling silver. We got lots of really cool vintage looking pieces. Thank you all so much for joining. Be sure to check out my shorts video coming out this week. And also be sure to check out my video for next week for our next giveaway. Those giveaways are always free and a way to show my appreciation for all of your guys' knowledge and support. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time.